Good morning, it's Betty. And I'm about to change the catalytic converters in this GMC Sierra. They, uh, the check engine light has been on. Uh, we've replaced the oxygen sensors and it's a catalyst code. So uh, the next step would be the converters. We assume they're bad because of that light and because the way that the vehicle runs, it doesn't crank all the time because it's not really getting the airflow it needs because of the stopped up catalytic converters. This truck has hundreds of thousands of miles on it. It was an old work truck, so it's time to change them. Uh, we found a company online to order them from that was very reasonable in price. So hopefully they're good, hopefully they work, and most of all, hopefully they fit in place where the old ones are. Let's go, let me show you what I got and we'll go under the truck and see how they match up. So I laid them out like how I believe they go under the truck. This one will go up like this on the passenger side and then this one attaches. They slide together right here in the middle and this whole thing is kind of tipped up and uh, there's it came with the clamps that we need to clamp this in place and also the gaskets now let's go under the truck and see what it looks like under there to compare so here's the driver's side those are the bolts i need to replace first i need to uh, remove the oxygen sensors so i can remove that especially over here on the passenger side because that bolt is so close to the oxygen sensor I won't be able to get a socket up in there to remove that. So first off I'll remove all four oxygen sensors and then take those nuts, six nuts off, three on that side, three on this side, and then down there there is two more bolts and hopefully this thing will slide out of here. That transmission brace might be in the way and we might have to end up cutting it to get it out from under here, but I think that we should be able, hopefully we should be able to get it out just by uh, unbolting it and pulling it out of here. And then we should be able to just put the other one right back up where this one was. So we'll just go ahead and get started. I got the tool here to remove the oxygen sensors and I got my pillow. <laughs> you don't have to be uncomfortable when you're working under a vehicle. First we'll disconnect the wiring of the oxygen sensors and then I will remove them because you can't really twist them with the wire still attached. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that first. So see that blue right there? That's the that's the connector. Let me see here. Just pull this out like that. And then right here in the back. This thing just slides down off of this black um, clip right here and then we'll be able to unplug it. I can't do it and hold the camera so I won't be able to show you that but I'll pull it out now. Let's see it just came unattached like that and that part stays there and once we put the new oxygen sensor on it should be in the same puck spot and we'll just plug it right back in. And then with the oxygen sensor removal tool, I just see it has that slit on it so it'll fit right up in there. And then I might need an extension for this, but we'll see. This one I'll just have to use the wrench on. So now we can just unscrew this out of here 
and we'll do the same thing for all four of them and I'm just going to lay them down on the ground where they came out so that I'll know exactly which ones go where to put them back in. This one is covered in soot. Got all four oxygen sensors out, and now it's time to unbolt the catalytic converter. Probably have to use my impact, but I'm just gonna try turning them right now. This is a 15 millimeter socket, and that's what should fit those uh, nuts. Try to avoid cutting it with a salsa, but had to do it. So let me just see if I get this one last piece out of here without having to cut it again. Oh. 
that's out for sure. Now, time to put the new one in. It was pretty fun cutting that thing with that sawzall. I was kind of scared, but I got it. <laughs> now we got the new, and so it comes with this ring that goes right around, right in there. Like that. We have this donut gasket that goes right in here. And then I have another gasket down there on that end. Now I gotta pull all this stuff under the truck and do everything in reverse. <laughs> Put this new one back where the old one came out. <laughs> now hopefully, since I had to cut that other one in two pieces, hopefully I could get this one up in here without Hopefully I can get it up in here. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> oh, be, might be a little work fitting it up, but let's go for it. So we did end up having to remove the transmission uh, bar here that holds the transmission up to get this new catalytic converter uh, piece in. So there was no way we could do it without it. So we had to jack up, hold the transmission up while we removed that and quickly put that uh, the new catalytic converter piece in there. So now I'm just gonna bolt everything up. bolts all the way up until we get the other piece in and matched up. Okay, got the new ones on. There and I just need to put the sensors on. And we need to tighten this uh, clamp here. I put it so that the so it's facing the back, so it's not facing down. I didn't want it facing the front, so things will catch on it if we drive, like plastic bags or whatever's on the road. So I just need to tighten that up, put those sensors in, and we'll be done. I ran out and got some anti-seize so I could put it on the oxygen sensors before installing them into the new catalytic converter and we cleaned them up real good so back to clean again I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of anti-seize on the threads of each of these and then attach them where they need to go and clear the coats and hopefully they won't come back on.
Just finishing up tightening these two to make sure that the center stays together. I'm sure it will. All the other bolts are torqued down pretty tight. So, uh, So that's all there is. We're done. There we go. Yep, we got all the oxygen sensors hooked up. And I'm getting out of here, cranking this up and see if those codes are gone. Hey, well, that's it. Um, got the got the old ones out. Got the new ones in. He's clearing the codes right now, but it's there's nothing to show y'all because the codes are gonna go off, and it's gonna take a while for them to come back on if they are gonna come back. I put new oxygen sensors in last year, so they should be good too. But uh, so so everything should be good. Uh, that was a. Uh, first time I've changed out the catalytic converter so it was a good learning experience for me. I had fun doing it and wouldn't mind doing it again. <laughs> well thanks for watching and you all have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.